Hi, I'm Bob Welds, and this is how to read a metric micrometer. A micrometer is used to take very precise measurements. There are different kinds of micrometers, inside micrometers, outside, depth micrometers, inch micrometers. Just look them up on Wikipedia. But here I have a metric one. This one measures to the nearest 0 0.01 millimeters. It says so right here. As you turn the knurls, the measuring parts open up. These are called the spindle and the anvil. The spindle moves, the anvil does not. Now to get down to the business of reading this thing, let's take a close look at what's called the barrel scale. I'll have Sparky my dog help me out, he's a pointer. You read the barrel scale by looking at the edge of the part that turns. This part's called the thimble. You begin by looking at these marks. You'll notice there are two sets of marks and a line. The marks above the line are millimeters. The marks below the line are half millimeters. Let's stop here a minute and be sure you're with me. What do you think the barrel scale is showing right now? Hit the pause button and think about it. If you said 12 millimeters, you were right. If you didn't, well, there's more to life than being right all the time. Well, let's take a closer look. See, 10. 10 and a half, 11, 11 and a half, 12. Here, let's try another one. Pause the video and think about this one. Do you see it reads 14 millimeters? Good, let's move on. Let's try another one. Now this one's trickier. Pause it for a minute and see if you can figure out what the reading is. Did you say 11 and a half millimeters? See how there's a half mark showing? That counts as a half millimeter. Great. You've got the barrel scale down. Remember that we said this mic would measure down to the nearest one one hundredth of a millimeter? Well, here's what that would look like on the barrel. They don't really make marks this small because no one would be able to see them to read them. Obviously, there has to be a better way. Remember that each mark on the barrel is equal to one half millimeter? Another way to think of a half is by saying 0 0.5. Hmm, another way is by saying 0 0.50 or 0 0.50. Now, let's put 50 marks on the thimble. As we turn it, the thimble can count from 1 to 50 for us. That means that each mark on the thimble is equal to 0 0.01 millimeters. Now let's put all this together and try to figure out what this micrometer is reading. First, the barrel scale. 10, 11, 12. So it's 12 millimeters plus something. The something comes from the thimble scale. Let's zoom in. 0 0.30, 0 0.31, 0 0.32, 0 0.33. So the reading is 12.33 millimeters. Now here's one for you to try. Now it's trickier. Notice the half mark is showing on the barrel scale. Let's see if you can figure out what to do with that. Did you get 11.72? If so, you're really getting this. If not, you might have missed the half millimeter mark. Let me show you. Okay, first look at the barrel. 10, 10 and a half, 11, 11 and a half. Now, write that down. Now, look at the thimble. 0 0.20, 0 0.21, 0 0.22. Now, write that down. Now, add them together and you get 11.72 millimeters. Okay, there's just one more small concept and we'll be done. What if one of the marks is just barely showing? Do you count it? Is it ready to be used? Here is the trick. Don't look at the mark to find out whether the mark is showing or not. Look at the thimble. You need to know if a new mark is starting or if an old mark is ending. In this example, look at how big the number on the thimble is. It's showing about 0.47 millimeters. 
That's a big number for the thimble. Remember, the scale only goes up to 49. Since the scale is nearing the end, it's ending. And so you don't count a mark that's barely showing. The trick is to find which side of the zero you're working on. If you're not yet to zero, it's not yet a mark. Okay, I've moved the micrometer just a little bit. Now the mark is ready to be counted because the thimble scale is starting. You see that the numbers on the thimble are small because the zero just passed by. This means that the mark is ready to be counted. Okay, so that's pretty much it. There are some micrometers that can measure even more accurately than this. They have a thing called a vernier scale on them. I can show you how to read those another time if you want. Just let me know. But for now, this should get you started. Thanks for watching. I'm Bob Welds, and these are Weld Notes.